So this will be a pretty quick video of my experience with the ZWO ASI 294MM Pro. And the first thing I want to point out, because it kind of gave me a, a headache, uh, with this camera they have an enhanced mode. The, the normal bin 1 mode of any other camera is actually the 2 times 2 mode of this camera as you can see right here the bin 1 mode is enhanced resolution which is a pixel per pixel shot it, it does give you better resolution I didn't like it very much because the well depth is extremely limited so you don't get a whole lot of photons to work with um, it's fun to play with if you have a really bright object with and a good ratio of data to noise it probably worked pretty well I didn't use it so when you look at this the thing you gotta remember is if you're taking normal what you think has been one mode you have to switch it to two times two which is the bin one times one mode of any other camera so all the photos that I did through sequence generator I had to set to 2 times 2 mode. Uh, works great. Uh, it brings it down to this resolution. Um, the bin 1 mode, an additional headache of that is it really increases your file sizes uh, significantly. You're going to use up a lot of your disk really quick. Um, that put aside. I love this camera. I mean, it, it, the resolution, this is my first time using LRGB um, monochrome cameras. It's a learning experience and a half, especially with Pix Insight. I had quite a few failures before I got it to work, uh, but I love this camera and I love using monochrome cameras in general and the, the luminance red green and blue filters it does take a lot of extra pictures but I'll show you uh, the pictures results I have with it at the end here uh, just like the 294 MC Pro uh, same hookup same I believe it's the same sensor depends on which version you get does not come with a power source at least mine did not um, it is more expensive than the MC Pro uh, is it worth it? At this point, I would have to say yes, because it's it's uh, more man hour intensive. But I think I got better results with the uh, MM than the MC. Uh, same hookups and everything in the back. I literally took my MC Pro off my telescope, left all the cables there, put this on, and plugged all the cables back into this. Works fine. Communicates with my radial. Uh, laptop without any problem. I use it through sequence generator without any problems. Like I said, the only thing you have to do is when you're setting up your sequence in order to get it where you want it to be. In my case, you have to set it by to two times two bin, which is the old normal mode. Uh, one of the he headaches that I had was plate solving. When I tried to plate solve the first time, because it's uh, 2.3 in bin 1 mode, 2.3 UMs, you have to change the scale. You have to change the scale in half. And it took me about a half hour to figure that out. It wouldn't plate solve, it wouldn't plate solve. I'm like, everything's set up right. Then I went in here, read this. I'm like, oh, <laughs> 
It really doesn't tell you that anywhere else but on this website that I saw. So I had to switch. I, what I did is I cut it in half down to 1.65. I believe that's correct. Uh, whatever the half of that is. Um, that's not 1.65. Anyway, 1.2. Whatever half of 2.3 is. And uh, let me correct that. The normal is 4.6. The half is 2.3. So you've got to figure this into your scale. 2.3. Sorry about that. Um, other than that, I'm going to share some pictures uh, with what I got. The first one will be the luminance and then the combined LRGB at the end. And I think it turned out really nice. I have about 26 hours total exposure time on the Horsehead Nebula. And if you have any questions or you like it, let me know. Leave some comments. Subscribe. I appreciate any assistance you could give me. And you have a fine day. Thanks.